Hi, I'm Professor Dr. Ashish Dawalbuk at Aesthetics Medispan Advanced Aesthetics. Today we are going to talk about chemical peels. It's an extremely popular and commonly used treatment in the aesthetic medicine. And there are a lot of uh, myths and queries about it. Today we will just cover the basics of uh, skin, which is the largest organ and why chemical peels is important in the maintenance and the improvement of the skin. So as you all know that if we look at the screen here, skin has two components, epidermis and the dermis. So these two together make the skin. So epidermis is the top part and the dermis is the lower part. If we look at the histology of the epidermis, the epidermis also is broken up into five layers. We don't need to get into too many details about which layers, but the base layer, which is the stratum basal, gradually as it grows older, it migrates up to the top. Those cells, they migrate up to the top and they become more compacted, more structured. They progress from stratum basal to stratum spinosum, granulosum, till it comes to stratum corneum. Now, corneum is the keratinocyte layer, which is on the surface of everybody's skin. And it's a nice compacted layer, partly made of live keratinocytes and on the surface, dead keratinocytes. And the cells, they gradually migrate up as you grow older and they die and they shed off. And that's why cleansing is very important so that we can take away those dead keratinocytes and allow the live keratinocytes to come up to the surface. Now along with this is an important structure called the epidermal barrier. And this epidermal barrier is formed by our skin to prevent excessive evaporation happening from the skin. If there is a default in this epidermal barrier or a breakdown or a breach due to any reason such as use of too strong harsh soaps or abrasion or whatever then there is excessive evaporation that happens and that evaporation causes drying of the skin and the skin loses its luster it looks dull and also can become itchy and sore if it's really progresses to a worse state so reformation of this epidermal barrier forms an important component of uh, aesthetic dermatology. The more compact and uniform the keratinocytes are, the smoother the skin appears. The more irregular the skin is, uh, the keratinocytes are, the layer looks rough and also doesn't reflect light that well. So when you are talking about a smooth glowing skin, you are talking about a keratinocyte layer which is nice, smooth and compact. And that is why light reflects uniformly from that layer and gives you an appearance of a nice smooth skin. On the other hand, if that skin was irregular, the keratinocyte were rough or not smoothly layered, then light would reflect poorly and then the skin will look dull. So the chemical peels have a role in helping nice compaction of the keratinocyte layer. So what do the chemical peels do? The chemical peels, as the word tells us, they are products derived from chemicals and the commonest product is a glycolic acid, which are fruit acids. So these acids are derived from fruit products and naturally as the acid, uh, as the name denotes, the, the pH is on the lower side and the lower the pH, the stronger the acid. And when you apply these chemical peels on the surface, they penetrate in through the uh, epidermal layers, keratinocytes, and they release or loosen the bonds which are holding the keratinocytes together. And as a result of that, the keratinocytes start shedding. So the dead skin cells or the loose, irregularly placed keratinocytes can be made to loosen and fall off by these glycolic peels. And these are some of the peels that I have here to show to you. Like salicylic acid is a Monopeel. Now, this, there are concepts about monopeels and combination peels. Uh, we will come to that later. So, salicylic acid peel or it could be a glycolic acid peel. These are monopeels. One of the commonest peels is an alpha uh, is alpha beta or alpha hydroxy acid and a beta hydroxy acid peel. 
where the beta hydroxy acid is nothing else but salicylic acid and the alpha hydroxy acid is a glycolic acid and both in combination so this is a combination peel so you have mono peels which is pure glycolic or pure salicylic acid peel or you have combination peels where you have the uh, fruit acids combined together to give a additional benefit or to gain the benefit of both the uh, products that are used in it we will come to the details about what each peel do when we talk about them in subsequently in another video so these peels are there and then there are multiple combination peels uh, as well so huge array of peels and these can be very confusing to a beginner uh, it's best to first understand the physiology the anatomy of the skin uh, and the role of the peels in that and basically all peels cause a shedding of the cells of the skin or epidermal layer penetration of the peels depend on their ph and whether they are based in alcohol or they're based in a gel earlier days the peels used to be based in alcohol and there are some who are still proficient in using alcohol based peels the alcohol based peels they penetrate in really rapidly and they cause a quick uh, effect Again, we'll have another session on the peel, the peeling depth and how to manage the peels. But as for this video, I think where we are talking about the role of chemical peels in skin, we have spoken about the anatomy of the skin and where the role of the chemical peels is and why is it important. So that should be enough for this one. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please uh, uh, click the button and subscribe. Thank you.